Hello and welcome to this quick learning session from Knowledge Base. Today we will answer the question what is a pawn? By the end of our session, you should acquire the basic knowledge about a pawn network. A passive optical network is a point to multi-point fiber-based distribution network. Uh, it is one of the most cost-effective ways to deliver services and it can support triple play, data, voice and TV over a single fiber. This is a simple G-Pawn structure and if you see the components of uh, the network are uh, starting from the OLT, the fiber, the splitter and the ONU. The OLT is the optical line terminal where the signal originates and it travels through the fiber into the splitter that splits the signal coming from single core into multiple fiber cores each one going to one ONU or one subscriber or one user now the distance between the OLT and ONU can go up to, to 20 kilometer and uh, this reduces the operation cost of the network uh, a lot yeah, because now you don't have controlled environment in a 20 kilometer radius up around the OLT now the question how does this uh, work how um, how does the signal travel over the cable so uh, going downstream uh, the OLT sends the signal to a splitter and the splitter sends the same signal to all ONUs so it's a um, type of broadcasting and then this, the message is encrypted and each ONU can only read the message uh, dedicated for it on the upstream however uh, the signal is transmitted using time division multiplexing so the OLT when it sends the downstream signal it assigns time slots for the ONU to transmit back and the ONUs will in turn submit in their dedicated time slots okay now we will look at some of the facts about uh, the passive optical network the passive optical network runs on single mode fiber and uh, because it supports uh, wide uh, wave division multiplexing uh, to transmit the signal so it downstream is in a wavelength the upstream is on a wavelength and there's a wavelength dedicated for video transmission uh, it has a range of 20 kilometer without active equipment from the OLT the splitters can come in different uh, ratios so we can have a splitter it splits into 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64 it's always 2 to the power n split ratio because every time it splits into two into two uh, it's an asynchronous transmission mostly so most of the pawns are asynchronous your downstream is higher than your upstream bandwidth it's a shared bandwidth so when you have a splitter uh, the users connected to the splitter are sharing the bandwidth in the main fiber um, and as we said it's wave division multiplexing both downstream and upstream run over a single core so you need only one core per user now when it comes to the loss due in the system so every splitter or every time you split you have a loss of 3 db so when you have one into two you have a 3 db loss in the splitter you split again and then you have one into four you have 6 db and so on of course you have to add to this loss the losses of your connectors connecting to the splitter but this is calculated a normal fiber we can look into that in other sessions going with a pawn comes with many benefits it's a cost-effective solution with lower cost per user and lower operation cost it is uh, highly flexible for changes and expanding uh, the network uh, with high availability as well uh, with less system failures and less maintenance requirements and all this comes from the fact that it's passive uh, also when we look at uh, supporting uh, future expansions or future growth the system is ready to support higher speeds as the technology advances and this is mainly because it's running on single mode fiber because of the many benefits of uh, the pawn it has been used in many applications mainly it's used in access networks for service providers and we see it in applications like uh, fiber to the home fiber to the building or fiber to the curb and we also see it in enterprise projects as a po land passive optical LAN, in residential commercial building campuses hospitals hotels 
mainly any project that is spread over a wide area and it has a bigger number of users can benefit more of the advantages of a uh, pawn or a pure OLAN. This brings us to the end of our session for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and see you later.